after Sicily went into, uh, into Christian hands, right, there was more coexistence in Sicily between Muslims and non-Muslims than you will see in most other places, okay? A lot of the other places, it comes with a huge massacre, but in this particular case, there was a little bit of, you know, understanding and so on and so forth, okay? So one of the things that that helped or that led to is that their king, Roger II, he decided to commission a writing of an, a map of the world, okay? A map of the world, when he searched around, he realized that he can't actually find a person in Europe to write a map. In all of Europe, he can't find a single person who can write the map of the world. So he had to resolve to a man by the name of Al-Sharif Al-Muhammad Al-Idrisi. Okay? Al-Sharif Muhammad Al-Idrisi. And Sharif Muhammad Al-Idrisi was commissioned uh, by this particular individual, the king of Sicily called Roger II. And he wrote the map and he called this map Nuzhatul Mushtaq. Of course, the map was written in Arabic because the language of knowledge was Arabic all across the world, right? Even if political influences changed, language of knowledge happened to be Arabic, despite the fact that Roger the second, this is not his tongue, you know, he's... Uh, so, so the point here is, he's Norman. So the point here is, he writes this book called Nuzhatul Mushtaq Fi Ikhtiraq Al Afaq. And that book is available till today, okay? About a thousand years later, it's still available till today. And uh, even manuscripts are available, but it's even in print. It's even translated into several different languages. And the reality is that that map happens to be strikingly accurate to a degree that a 20th century historian by the name of S.P. Scott, he writes, and I read, and I quote in his book, History of the Moorish. He says, the compilation of Idrisi marks an era in history of science. Not only is its historical information most interesting and valuable, but its descriptions of many parts of the earth are still authoritative till today. Okay, till the last century, but it continues as well. Fourth, he, he continues, he says, for three centuries, geographers copied his maps without any alterations. This is what, what this particular historian had said.